Hi everyone, these are uh, videos for my Year 12 Biology group. So today I'm going to talk about cell fractionation. So it's the way that we can separate the cell components or organelles um, when we're studying cells. And there's certain uh, particular uh, methodology that you would have to follow to do this. So before you start separating the organelles by fractionation, you've got to place them in a cold, buffered, isotonic solution. So let's talk about those three things. So number one, cold. Well, you want it cold to reduce any enzyme activity. The reason being is that you might want to look at a particular metabolic function at a particular uh, moment. Isotonic means to prevent cells bursting or shrinking by osmosis of the organelles, so the movement of water in and out. And thirdly, a buffered solution, meaning that it is maintaining a constant pH. So that prevents the damage to the enzymes in the organelles uh, that you might be studying. So now we get to the uh, cell fractionation itself, and there are two main stages. The first one, homogenation. So cells are going to be broken up by a homogenizer, which is actually just a blender, and that releases the organelles from the cell. Um, it produces a fluid, and that's known as homog homogenate, homogenate, and it's then filtered to remove any complete cells and large pieces of debris. You then go to ultra centrifugation. So it then is placed in an ultra centrifuge, and I'll show you a picture in a moment, and it's spun at a slow speed. The heaviest organelles, the nuclei for example, are forced to the bottom of the tube where they form a thin pellet or sediment. And then the fluid at the top, which is known as the supernatant, is removed, and then the supernatant is respun at a faster speed than before. So then you then get the next organelle, which in this case is mitochondria, and you keep repeating the process. Here's an example of a ultra centrifuge, um, and you can see that they you put multiple tubes in them, and they will spin round at various speeds, at, uh, various what we call RPM or revolutions per minute. So let's just go through the main stages. So the first one, number one, the tissue is cut up and kept in cold buffered solution. Okay, it's then um, put in a, well, a homogenizer, uh, breaks up all the cells to get the organelles separated. You then spin it at a low speed. Notice it's a low speed first. And then you'll have the first sediment. Okay, and what you can do is then remove the sediment so not the sediment, remove the supernatant, okay, place it back into a new tube, spin it now at a much greater speed, and you'll get the second sediment coming out, and then the supernatant to the third tube, and then you get the third, super, uh, third sediment. So it's just showing that as you spin it with faster and faster speeds, you will get smaller and smaller organelles. Here is a question, Year 12. I'd like you to answer this um, on a Google Doc or a piece of paper and then return it to me. I'm also going to give you uh, some extra exam questions, uh, one on cell fractionation and then one on mitosis and another one related to, to cells generally. So I hope that's been of use. Please do let me know if I can do anything for you and I'll speak soon.